Sometimes your plans and Allah's plans are the same. Sometimes. Sometimes you decide to go somewhere and Allah decides to let you go also. Sometimes you decide to go to a college and Allah gives you admission into that college also. You decide to graduate early and Allah lets you graduate early also. So things go according to your plan. All that means is your plan and Allah's plan was the same for that one thing. But sometimes your plan and Allah's plan are not the same. Sometimes you want to stay in that job for 10 years, but you get fired after six months. Sometimes you apply to this school and you had the best application, but you still didn't get in and people with a worse application than you got in. It happens. Sometimes your plans and Allah's plans are not the same. These ayat are recognizing that not everything will go according to my plan. I will still have to make a plan. I will still have to put in the effort. But at the end of the day, it is Allah who will decide whether this plan will come through or not. This is wadhkur rabbaka idha nasi. But then the, the most powerful part of this ayah that I wanted to spend extra time on because this is really one of the most beautiful lessons in the entire Quran, in my opinion. If, if the Muslim understands this, their life becomes easy. وَقُلْ عَسَىٰ أَنْ يَهْدِيَنِي رَبِّي لِأَقْرَبَ مِنْ هَذَا رَشَدًا These words are a dua. And more than a dua, they are a statement of optimism. Let's introduce it that way. This, you're thinking about the future, just because of the use of the word asa, which is harfu taraji in the Arabic language, a, a word or a fi'lu taraji, a verb used to express hope. Allah is teaching us in this ayah that the Muslim has to have hope in the future. My iman in the Quran makes me optimistic about the future. I, am, I don't care what the news says. I don't care what happened yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before. I will not be among those Muslims who sit on a table and say the situation of the ummah keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Oh my God, things are only going to get much, much more terrible. And there's another tragedy coming, I guarantee you. Watch what happens. Oh, you think 9-11 was bad because it's the anniversary, right? You think 9-11 was bad? Oh my God, that was nothing. Watch what happens to the ummah now and then watch what happens now. This attitude is directly against the ayah of this book. Just in the word Asa. You're, you're supposed to be full of optimism and hope that Allah will make things better for you, for the people around you, for humanity. You're supposed to have that attitude. And then he says, that what, you, what should you say about your own future? Asa an yahdiyani rabbi. Perhaps my master will guide me. He'll give me guidance. What is the most optimistic thing you can have in your future? Everybody wants a better job or better financial situation, or a better family situation, a better health situation. We want all of these things, but you know what? The most fundamental thing you and I need, more essential than the oxygen that we're breathing, is Allah's guidance. So once you have that, everything else will work out. When you don't have that, you can have everything else and you have nothing.